I want to ask from a brand perspective. I see that your strategic international brands and strategic local brands haven't performed as well as your specialty brands over the latest trading period. Um, what's going on in terms of consumer preferences and would you expect that breakdown to persist in the coming quarters? Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a very good question. Um, first, uh, I would like to say we are very happy uh, by the performance of the specialty uh, brands that are growing quite strongly. And as you know, this is probably, let's say, the space in our house of brands where we have uh, our innovation brands and as well the acquisition we made uh, in the recent past. So this is uh, quite positive in the current environment to, uh, to see that those brands that are much smaller in terms of sizes are performing uh, quite strongly because of the, uh, their equity and because of the quality of the product and their, let's say, attractiveness to consumers. So back to the, uh, let's say, bigger brands, uh, I would say, uh, to cut a long story short, the performance is, is uh, uh, more uh, challenging because of their exposure to travel retail and on trade. Uh, and that's, uh, that's impacting our performance in this first half. Having said that, all, all of our strategic international brands are not uh, declining. We have uh, very strong brands like Jemison, but as well Malibu and the Glen Vivet that are growing, which is obviously quite uh, positive. And if you look at our performance for our two other, let's say, big brands or categories that are Cognac with Martel and the Scotch portfolio, they are growing if you exclude uh, travel retail. And then can I ask you about some consumption habits? It seems that people have been treating themselves where they have been stuck at home on uh, some premium brand and some cocktails. Um, how do you see the trend carrying on to 2021 and beyond? Uh, is that here to stay or do you feel like people will, once things reopen, will rush back to the pub and bars and things will go back to uh, like they were before the crisis? Or are some of these new trends here to stay? Well, that's a good question as well. I would say probably uh, consumers now are much more confident in their capabilities to uh, to do their own cocktails. And that's uh, obviously ex especially true for the U.S. Home consumption and, uh, have increased a lot. And uh, uh, when you look at uh, some of the most uh, dynamic categories such as tequila, we know that uh, this is as well uh, linked to the, uh, let's say, uh, the strong enthusiasm of consumers to make their own uh, margaritas and so on. So uh, that's that's, uh, that's, that's quite true. This home cocktail trend is uh, quite impressive. We believe uh, this is probably going to stay at the same time, as you just mentioned, when the on-trade is going to reopen. Uh, it's fair to assume that consumers, by the way, starting with me, <laughs> are going to enjoy very much going back to, the, to their favorite bars and, uh, and restaurants to, to enjoy their, their favorite drinks. It's a different, um, I would say, moment of consumption. Uh, and uh, both uh, can uh, obviously bring a lot to our consumers. So probably this home consumption is going to uh, stay and would be resilient with this uh, cocktail trend. But obviously, maybe to a lower extent, uh, as soon as the on-trade will, uh, will reopen. I think that we all share that, the, the looking forward to returning to bars and restaurants, although the at-home cocktail trend is certainly one that we've all welcomed. Uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Helen DeTisso, CFO of Pernod Ricard.